Hello, welcome to a new episode of Geek Lunch Me. I'm your host, Chris. As usual, long time viewers of the channel will know that I am a huge fan of Jaws and I think it's one of the greatest films um, ever made. And you may have seen some of my unboxing videos um, as I'm also a fan of um, tabletop gaming as well. So what better than to combine the two and um, we will take a look today at the uh, Jaws uh, board game uh, from Ravensburger Games. If you like the video, um, don't forget, um, hit the thumbs up and um, helps out a great deal helps the video get seen by a lot more people and if you've not already subscribed why not smash that subscribe button like a great white shark is on your tail and only being a subscriber to Geek Lunch Me is going to help you get back to shore safely so without further ado let's head back to Amity Island and take a look at the Jaws board game So as you can see, we've got the Jaws board game, a game of strategy and suspense, and it's from Raven's Burger, and it is two to four players, ages 12 and up. Let's get this open, take a look inside. So first of all, you've got the instructions, um, not much to them. We'll have a closer look in a second at that. And then you've got the board. It's quite small, um, but it's double-sided. Basically, the first part of the game is you've got Amity Island and you've got one player controlling the shark. The other players are controlling uh, Quint, Brody and Hooper. And obviously, uh, if you're playing as a shark, the idea is to try and eat uh, as many swimmers as possible. And if you're playing um, as the good guys, obviously, you've got to try and stop the shark. You've got to try and get as many barrels attached to it as possible. And then depending on if uh, if you manage to get two barrels or more attached to the shark or if the shark manages uh, to eat nine of the swimmers first you basically then turn the board over and then the second half of the game is um obviously quinn hooper and brody out on the orca uh, trying to stop the shark the shark is trying to sink the orca get his noon feeding in i'll uh, we'll have a closer look at this um in a minute and um, say there's some cards that go on here that, ver uh, that represent the various parts of the orca um as it slowly starts to sink so let's take a look at what else we get uh, in the box. So as I said, um, the instructions say, gives you a game overview. Say act one is Amity Island where you're trying to stop the shark from eating uh, all the swimmers. And then act two is um, aboard uh, the orca um, when the shark is trying to uh, destroy the boat and you're trying to kill the shark. And then it just takes you through um, how to set the game up and then you know, act one overview and then the different phases, like all these games have different phases, the event phase, uh, the shark phase where the shark moves and does its thing and then the crew phase where the players that are playing as Quint, Brody and Hooper um, all do their various actions and then it basically says yeah end of act one like I said um, act, act one ends immediately if one of the following things happens the crew attaches the second barrel to the shark or the shark track on the shark's board reaches the nine slot you then proceed to act two so act two is the orca um i say and i'll show you how to set that up in a minute um and then basically yeah, you have to destroy the shark before it destroys the orca and uh, eats you for its lunch and you've got the rules uh for act two um and how to end uh the game one thing i have to point out here is um ravensburger and um, say the games are cheap you can get this game for less than 20 pounds um you know it, it, it's quite a basic game it's not you know it's not one of these big in-depth tabletop games but their design work is always gorgeous like this uh the painting of the chum bucket here we'll have a look at some of the cards in, in a minute um ravensburger also do um an alien game which i'll do an unboxing of um at a later date um which again has got fantastic design work they really do go um above and uh, beyond um on the artwork if, for example, if you look at this box, you know the you know, the liner cardboard. It, we've got all the um, all the anchors. It, you know, it's Mayor Vaughan's um, cheesy suit that he wears. Uh, it's just great that they've you know, used this motif um, over sort of the inside of the box. And then you'll see um, how nice, we'll say, this artwork carries on um, over all the cards. So straight away, um, you've got some um, meeples representing. Uh, unfortunately. I say it's only a cheap game, um, so you don't get minis um, of the figures, um, which you know, it is a shame. I would absolutely have loved as a Jaws fan, and I, I, I enjoy painting minis. Um, having figures of uh, Brody Quinn and Hooper would have been fantastic. But um, I know there is problems with licensing rights, um, like the NECA action figures. You can get Quint and you can get Hooper, uh, but you can't get Brody. I think there's a problem with Roy Scheider's estate and how they give out licenses. So what you, in fact, you, you get basically a, a wooden um, representation of the shark there. And then, uh, you know, 
um, Brody, Hooper, and Quint are yeah these uh, these meeple uh, little wooden figures um, represent them instead. And then this is um, uh, representations of the of the actual of the boat, I believe, when you're playing uh, the first act around the waters of Amity Island. Then, like all good games, uh, you've just got some custom dice. There's just three there, which um, you roll to determine um, you know, how many uh, attacks are made. And then there's these cards. I'll show these in a minute um, in conjunction uh, with the board. These are the parts of the orca that you flip over um, as the ship um, starts to sink. So we'll look at those in a sec. And we've got here, these are just um, some markers that you use um, on the tracks just to keep um, track of where, uh, how many sort of victims a shark has eaten and things like that. Then every good game obviously has lots of little tokens. You've got the barrels, obviously, that you're trying to attach to the shark, um, binoculars, um, and various different things um, that you use throughout the game here. Then you've got all the cards. In the first act of the game, you've got these event cards, amity events that happen, for example, like this. Uh, cardboard, fin hoax, move all crew members to the beach with the most swimmers. So they basically just affect different things. As I say, and beautiful painted artwork on all of these. Um, yeah, really good job they've done there. There's the USS Indianapolis uh, Quint's uh, famous speech. Then you've got the resurface cards. These are used uh, during the second act of the game, um, which show which parts of the orca um, are being destroyed by the shark then you've got your crew gear um, that you can obviously use um, during the game to help you uh, in your quest to stop the shark and again lovely artwork pistol the chum bucket that we've seen before uh, the hook the you know, oxygen canisters some ammo say so really nice artwork on all of these and then you've just got um, your shark ability cards different things ramming speed uh, domino effect making waves so all different things that the shark can do uh, to try and uh, say eat everyone and, and win the game that way and then we've got i think these are the character boards so you've got a, a shark tracker this is for in the first part of the game where you're trying to work out um, whereabouts which sectors of the beach the shark is when you're trying to attach the barrels and you can note down all the things on here uh, to help you in your quest and then we've got Brody um, uh, represented by his Amity police badge, Quint by his uh, iconic hat, Hooper, his sunglasses there on his denim shirt, and then uh, the shark itself as well, just the fin cutting through the water. And again, can't say enough good things about the artwork that they've used. So we'll take a quick look as I say, at the board from Act 2 and um, how that gets set up. So to replicate the finale of the film, um, when the shark is attacking the orca and it gradually starts sinking, you basically set these cards up um, or uh, one way so that you can see you've got the orca um, is whole. And then as the shark attacks, for example, it attacked this part here. Um, you turn the card over and as you can see, that part of the orca has sunk. And then say various other parts, as you turn them over, you'll, it will start, you know, it gets you know your situation is getting worse and worse for the good guys and then eventually he would remove these parts and as you can see the orca has uh you know completely submerged under the water and there's a good chance that you're about to lose the game uh to the shark player um who is then going to eat everybody left who is about to chow down on a uh, quint hooper and brody um and win the game so that is the uh, jaws game from ravensburger um it's a uh, quite simple game um and cheap to buy well worth picking up uh, for the lovely design work um, that they've used, and you can play both uh, both acts of the game, um, you know, in in under an hour once you know what you're doing. So quite a short game as well, nothing too in depth or too involved. You know, we we, we all like those tabletop games that take hours and hours and hours. Sometimes just a short, simple game um, also you know scratches a particular itch. So until next time, farewell and adieu, you fair Spanish ladies. Take care and eat geek and be merry.